Welcome back. We have Dr. Preeti Desai joining us back on the show today. It's great to have you back. Thank you so much. Yes, we're talking today about dental x-rays. We've all had a few, but there's a lot more to dental x-rays than you might know. There are. There's a lot of misinformation out there, and that's part of uh, the idea of educating people as to what it's all about. So what is some of the misinformation? Because every time I go to the dentist, well, not every time, but often you get the, uh, there's two different kinds of x-rays. You get those, uh, those kind that are called bite wings put bite in wings. so that you can see if you've got the cavity problems going on. That's right. right. So um, the, the types of dental x-rays in the dental chair is like a tube that comes off the wall. And so you can take something called a bite wing x-ray that checks in between the teeth for cavities. And the second type, which is again in the office, is called a periapical. In English, that means that you can check the surrounding structures of the tooth, the bone, some of the gums. You can even see some of the back teeth, like wisdom teeth as well. So those are the traditional ones in the dental office. Okay, but are, is there more to it than that? Absolutely. Um, there's also something outside of the head that is kind of like a scanner that goes around, and there's a number of different types. One is called a panelips or a panorex x-ray, and that's what like the oral surgeons use um, or the emergency doctors use to check for jaw fractures or wisdom teeth impactions. There's a type that the um, orthodontist can use that as well as the cephalometric, which goes on the side of the head. And so those are all scanners outside of the mouth so to speak. But how many x-rays are too many x-rays? Because I know they always say, okay, we're going to cover you up with the lead apron, and you think, what is this doing to me? Exactly. You know what I mean? It's like a little bit of fear mm -hmm. now that when uh, when you say, oh, you need x-rays. And we, in the past, you know, in the 40s and 50s, we used to be very haphazard about it. But uh, with knowledge and science, we understand that you only take them when you need to, and they have to be diagnostic to help you treatment plan uh, treatment, uh, different various treatments. So the International Commission of uh, Radiology Safety says 5,000 microsieverts a year. Microsieverts are the way we measure x-ray dosage. And we have a, a grading scale. So one of those little bite wings is 0 0.006 microsieverts. Oh, so you got to have many of those. you got to have a lot of them. Hmm. Even the one that goes around the head will be 60 microsieverts, and that's equivalent to a, uh, a month in the sun, for example. And that's our um, analogy of how much um, comparison is to a natural environment. For example, our granite countertops will have natural radiation. Believe it or not, it has radon in it and really? the soil. Or if you are living in something like a city like Colorado, where you're very close to the sun, you will have more radiological risk than in the dental office. So we have to put it into perspective. Very good. Well said. Yeah. We have some pictures that will yeah. show us a few things that uh, th this is what we're, our x-rays look like. kind of. This is a traditional bite wing. And if you can see, only part of the tooth, not the full tooth. So this is how we check best for cavities in between the teeth. The white is a filling and that doesn't pick up any radiation at all. It scatters so it doesn't get onto the film mm -hmm. of our various shades of gray for example. Mm -hmm. On the darker areas uh, you can see here in between the teeth um, that's space so it gets full exposure. Does this and person have braces on? This or? person has braces and this is called a periapical film where you can see the whole tooth. Okay. Yeah. And this is a typical panelypse x-ray, which goes around the whole head. And on the far uh, left, you can see that there's a little wisdom tooth extracted here. That's where L is. They do have braces here. And you can see partially erupted teeth. So adult teeth are coming in while baby teeth are coming out, kind of thing. Now, any of the x-rays we're looking at today, are any of these really high in that bad radiation? No, no, not at all, not at all. The highest radiation is this, which is a cone beam CT, which is a three-dimensional x-ray. And that is equivalent to, um, I would say, about a month in the sun, not three days like a panelips, for example. And it is for today's um, standard of care of implants, pathology, and as the dosage gets less and less, this will be the only x-ray that will be taken in the dental office mm. probably in my career lifetime. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, what are we looking at here? And this is a periapical film, so you can see the whole tooth 
and you can see broken teeth and you can see an implant here and you can see different diagnostic things that the dentist and the periodontist can diagnose to make proper educated choices. We don't radiate you for no reason. Yes. Do you find that people actually say, no, I'm not getting any x-rays? You know, they, they can come in saying that, but then after talking to them and educating them and talking mm -hmm. about doses, you're like, oh, okay, I get it. It's not just haphazard. Okay, good to know. Anything yeah. else that you'd like to pass along? And this is our last call. Oh, there's more CT. pictures. So with that same 3D x-ray, we can use software to reformulate it mm. and get this kind of information for the cool factor. Which is great. This is something completely different than a medical CT, which mm -hmm. is almost 10 to 100 times dosage. Is that right? It's completely different in a dental office. Good to know. It sounds pretty minimal. Most yeah. of the time. So it's not scary. No. Okay, yeah. Dr. Desai, thank you very much for being here today. Thank you again. Yes, uh, if you would like to learn more, camloopsperiodentist.com. Phone number on the screen as well. We're back in 90 seconds. Stay with us.